In this video, we will fix API MS when CRT heap dot DLL is missing. So, so to solve the error of heap dot DLL file missing, what you have to do is just go in the description, and there will be, uh, will be a link to this page that is sts dash tutorials dot com, and here you can download the API MS win CRT heap dot DLL file. What you have to do is just scroll down below and here we have download section just go and download both 32 bit and 64 bit. You have to download both the files. Once you have downloaded both the files after that just go to your desktop in here. Right click on PC and click on properties. And here against the system type you can see what system you have. It's either 32 bit or 64 bit. Once you have decided your system or known your system, just go to your download folder where you have recently downloaded the 32-bit and 64-bit versions of heap.dll files. Just go and extract both. And here we go to extract both. Once you have extracted both 32-bit and 64-bit, there are two procedures to solve the issue. For 32 bit there is a small procedure, for 64 bit there are two steps. So we would first go with the 32 bit, for that just go and copy the 32 bit file. In here, go to your this PC. Once you are in your this PC, just go and open the local disk C. In here, go to Windows. In here, just scroll down below and search for system 32. And here we have system 32, just go and open that. And here paste the file that you have just copied. That is the 32-bit version of heap.dll file. And click on continue. Once you have pasted the file, just go back. And if you have 64-bit system, you have to paste the 32-bit file into a folder with the name of syswow64. The procedure for 32-bit system has ended. Now we would go with 64-bit system. If you have a 64-bit system, just go and copy the 32-bit DLL file and paste it in the syswow64 folder. Just go and open that and here paste the file, click on continue and here we have. Now go to your other window and copy the 64-bit folder file and here we have DLL file 64-bit, just go and copy that and again go to your system and in the windows we have to paste this in system32 just go and paste the 64-bit DLL file in system32 just go and open system32 paste the 64-bit DLL file here click on replace the file in the destination continue and that's it now we have solved the system for 64-bit 2 so hope the problem will be solved if you still have any confusion you can just go and click on the link in the description and that will tell you where to copy and paste the file so that's all. If you still have any issue, you can comment below. I will try to answer that. But before you go, please subscribe, like and share. Thank you.